What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are starting Detective Pikachu Returns today. Well, finally starting. I'm a few days late. That's my fault. Uh, real quick, though, I want to say hello to anybody who's viewing the channel for the first time. My name's AJ. I am your foul-mouthed asshole of a host who loves to sit and play video games and shoot the shit with you guys. <laughs> That is the best way I can describe myself. Nah, I just, I like to sit here, have fun. I like to play video games, talk with you guys, see, uh, you know, all that good stuff. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the LP for Detective Pikachu Returns. Hope you check out some of the other stuff on the channel. So now that that's out of the way, where the hell have I been this weekend? Uh, initially, I thought I was just having bad allergies. I get them every time around this, this time of year, the... When the season changes, I get really bad headaches, I get stuffy nose, all that usual stuff. Um, and sometimes when the sinus pressure builds up, I get pain in my face. Well, uh, turns out the pain in my face I was dealing with wasn't because of my si wasn't because of my sinuses or anything. I had a massive cut on the inside of my mouth. I have no idea how the hell I got it, but my, the, my cheek was swelling up. Uh, I could barely eat and chew food. It was bad. Um, I started taking care of that, you know, cleaning it out and washing it out and everything, and swelling's almost completely gone, pain's almost completely gone, still there a little bit, but I am I can actually sit here and talk and have fun and not feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Uh, let's see, want to make sure everything's good? Yeah, we're going display in English, voice we're doing English, um, want to make sure everything else, okay, we will... Um, yeah, we'll play with volume settings if we need. Uh, text auto, fast forward, high speed movement. Uh, okay. All the settings are done. What is story jump mode? Huh. So essentially you skip. That's weird. Okay, so you skip the story and go right to the... Can get right into the gameplay. Interesting. We're not going to do that, but... Let's hop in. If anybody's going to ask the question, AJ, do you know anything about the original Detective Pikachu game? The name's Pikachu. No, but I love his voice. I call a great detective. Wasn't he, was he, wasn't he Ryan Reynolds in the movie? It would have been awesome if they could have done that. My bolts of brilliance, but I love this I've voice. Many mysteries. My partner Harry and I ran into some trouble on a case. Harry suddenly disappeared, and I'd lost all my memories. After that, I was wandering the city when I ran into Tim. Somehow, he could understand what I was saying. Our goals were one and the same. Find Detective Harry, because my missing partner just so happened to be Tim's dad. While we were searching for Harry, we uncovered a series of crimes involving R, a chemical that drove Pokemon berserk. Tim and I managed to solve the case and save Rhyme City. still missing. Even now, the two of us are still searching for him. Okay. Harry, just where the heck did you go? Nice little getting a little little refresher. I I've seen, I think, a couple cases in the original game, but that's about it. And so, to promote an even stronger bond between the people and Pokemon of Rhyme City, I hereby proclaim this day the start of Pokemon Friendship Week. <laughs> this to sleeping. commemorate this event, we present this award to Tim Goodman and Pikachu, who say... Harry! Great detective, known for his bolts of Pika. brilliance. Oh, Pikachu, I'm sorry. I guess that's a sign I better wrap this speech up, eh? I love his little hat. 
<laughs> wearing his iconic oh, red hoodie. You couldn't have picked a worse time to doze off. Sorry, sorry. Now then, due to the R incident of two years ago, some of our citizens began to doubt Rhyme City's motto, coexistence with Pokemon. So to those of you who were affected, I offer you my deepest sympathies. What's that? Corbinite? Oh no, it's coming this way! Sir, follow me! Everyone, get inside right away! What is going on? Could it be? Or? Or? Don't think so. Its behavior is different. It's all right. Just calm down. <gasps> he took Pikachu's hat. Pikachu. Yeah, lousy Corviknight. It just made off with my signature hat. Oh, my dad gave you that hat. Yeah, we gotta get it back. <laughs> oh, okay, so now I gotta read. God. Fine. You know what? At least you put voice acted cutscenes. It's not like Pokemon where it's like, ooh, we're gonna do all these cool cutscenes in the new games. Oh, by the way, they're gonna be deathly silent, so it's gonna be creepy. God, you know how important that hat is to me. And Corviknight just flew off with it. What a mess. Let's go get it back. Hmm? What's that? This is the only voice. That is the only voice I am doing. I am not doing a voice for every character. I am only doing a voice for Pikachu because I love his little detective voice. Hey, Tim, over here. Look, this must be the notebook the mayor dropped. Oh, there's something inside. A family photo? This girl looks familiar. No, oh, she's the one who didn't look too happy during the mayor's speech. That's my classmate, Rachel. She knows a lot about Pokemon. Huh? Whoa, time out. You know her? Why am I just now learning this? Because what the hell's it matter? We should return the notebook to uh, Mayor Myers. Yeah, but first we gotta deal with Corviknight. Right, let's go, Pikachu. We also gotta get Pikachu's hat back. Hmm, now what do we do? That's... Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Aww. Poor P-Dove. I love P-Dove. I think they're so oh. cute. Is that P-Dove unconscious? Don't touch it. Moving this Pokemon could injure it. <laughs> love his open shirt. Hey, you big guy. What happened to P-Dove? Well, I'm at a loss. Now that we've tried so far is working. Hey, can you even hear me? You, cut your Pikachu's Pika Pika chatter and evacuate the area. Will Butler, chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau. <laughs> nice chest there, dude. Odino, can hear how healthy you are. I need to track down Corviknight and get this area evacuated, but I can't just leave this P-Dove here. Hey, what happened? Calm down, Pikachu. To everyone else, you're just saying Pika Pika. I'm the only one who understands what you're saying. Ah, right. Sorry, got a little worked up seeing Pete of in such bad shape. Okay, Tim. It's on you to ask the big guy what went down. Excuse me, what happened here? Hmm. Ah, oh, you're that young detective. Yeah, I'm Tim Goodman, and this is my partner, Pikachu. Will Butler, Pokemon Protection Bureau, and this Adino is with the police department's rescue squad. Adino. I'll spare you the details. Right now, we need help with this P-Dove. All the wind Corviknight whipped up, blew it around, and knocked it out. Adino uh, used a move to help P-Dove recover, but it still hasn't woken up. Adino. Chief, no civilian injuries to report at this time. Copy that. Great work. Now I really should get back to leading the evacuation, but I can't just leave Pita here unconscious. 
You gotta clear out of here too, young detective. Mr. Butler, let us help you take care of the P-Dove. We'll find a way to wake it up. Yeah, let a couple of great detectives handle this. You... Hmm. This is an emergency situation. One that requires my full attention. Maybe I should let you help. All right, I'll leave the waking up. Uh, I'll leave waking up this P dove to you. I'm counting on you, young detective. Yes, sir. Let's go, Pikachu. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Hey, why don't you talk with those other P dove? Sure. Let's give it a shot. Hold on a sec, Tim. Before we talk to these guys, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, what is it? Cases don't just pop up when it's convenient for us. I don't gotta tell you that, right? Yeah. And it's been a good long while since our last case. Well, that's true. So let's hit pause and jog our memories of how we go about investigating a case. We'll do this one by the book, alright? I don't know what- this Pikachu voice is really just shifting all over the place. <laughs> And it's probably going to do it all game. <laughs> if you say so. Tim, this is our first investigation in a long time. Fortunately, P-Dove's injuries are already healed. All we got to do is find a way to wake it up. Some might call it a coincidence. For me, I call it an opportunity for a detective work tutorial. Perfect, right? I suppose. Let's refresh our memory and make sure we conduct a full investigation. Okay, got it. First, let's quickly go on how do we investigate. I talk to the Pokemon, and I talk to the people. Together, the two of us will gather evidence and take testimonies from people and Pokemon and piece them all together to solve the case. Yep, that's how we do it. Exactly. Alright, this round of questioning is all yours, Pikachu. Sure thing, here I go. Hey, Peta, can I talk to you? I don't know, what. it's turning southern. I'm guessing you're pals with the unconscious P-Dub. Mind if I ask you a couple questions? Cool. It says their friend's taking a nap and won't wake up. So it thinks that unconscious P-Dub is just sleeping? Ho oh, oh. ho! You really love the smell of... Wait, huh? What's that got to do with anything? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Nice strong aroma makes them sleepy. Times go away. That's what it's saying. You think these pedo uh, would be more con? I can't fucking read. <laughs> would be more concerned about their unconscious friend instead of chirping about some smell. I'm gathering there's a certain aroma that pedo are really into. Guess that's all we're. Uh, guess that's all we're gonna get. Maybe we should question some of the other pedo around here. Hmm. Yeah, I love his little feet. Come here for a second. Alright, if you get stuck during the investigation, see the light bulb icon in the lower left. You can press the left button to consult Pikachu and get a hint. Hmm. Call me before you go anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a little curious about what that Pito was saying. Yeah, its friend is unconscious, but all I wanted to talk about was an aroma like it likes. Yep. Nice, strong aroma. Makes the sleepy times go away. That's all I could get out of it. Aroma, sleepy times, go away. Wait, what if it's talking about using some kind of scent? And what if that scent could wake up its friend? That's it, Tim. If we can find that strong aroma those pita were chirping about, maybe it'll wake up their unconscious friend. That's what I'm thinking. It's worth a shot, at least. But how are we going to find a scent like that? There might be some Pokemon who haven't evacuated yet. Maybe we could ask them. That reminds me. Listen up, Tim. If you're having trouble during an investigation, you can call out to me at any time. I can give you advice and discreetly. Advice discreetly so no one else notices. Of course, you can also just small things over on your own. But if you get stuck, it might be a good idea to take a break or retrace your steps. That's important, too. 
Okay, see how during gameplay, reread, recent conversations, older conversations. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, I have to close it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's going to give us that. That opens the menu. Okay. Ooh, donuts. Hey. I see. One fact to this cop. Is it Yatu or a person in a Yatu costume? Nah. Or did I say Yatu Zatu? What's wrong with me? That's Zatu. I can't tell what it's staring at, or what it might be thinking. That's the sort of Pokemon who's probably got all kinds of incredible knowledge. I don't know about that, but let's try asking if it knows anything about how to wake up Pita. Way ahead of you. Hey, Zatu. Can you hear me? Hey! It's not saying anything. I wonder what's wrong. Two. Ah, want a piece of quiet while it's sunbathing. It's awfully calm given all the commotion. Eh, maybe we should try asking something else. Oh, oh. It's singing about how much it loves this aroma. Wait, if Peter loves this aroma, then maybe. Yes, I'm going to keep doing the southern voice because I actually am starting to like it. Aroma. Aromatisse exudes an enchanting aroma. Aroma? You're Aromatisse, aren't you? One of these Peter surround you for. Aroma. Huh. Started flocking us to you as soon as it got here. Is Pita have been following Aramatisse around? Oh, oh. You're asking me to make it. Uh, you're asking it to make the nice aroma. Oh, oh. Hurry up, make the nice aroma. Aroma, aroma. I don't know why I'm rolling my R's so much. I'm kind of liking it though. Yes, I'm I'm doing the, I'm half playing this game as a meme. Kinda like Eater Nights, but I'm having fun with it. Leave me alone. The Pedov are really getting nerd on its nerves. Seems like these Pedov are all drawn to the scent the Aramatisse emits. Which means Aramatisse might be able to help us wake up that unconscious Pedov. Good thinking, Pikachu. Let's ask if the Aramatisse is willing to help us out. Uh, hey, Ar uh, hey there, Aramatisse. Uh, we could use some help. Aroma tea. It'll help us out if we can get these pita to stop following it around. Fair enough. Let's talk to the pita. I just hope they understand us. Ooh. Sorry to ask you this, but could you move, you know, somewhere else? Hey, now's not the time to stop the smell, uh, smell the aromas. We're trying to help your friend here. Say, guess what? Pretty soon, Aramatisse is gonna go make lots of nice aromas right over there. Oh! They're on board with the nice aromas over there plan. So they'll move great. Aramatisse should be willing to help us out now, right? Aroma. I don't know why I decided to go with this voice. Oh my god, I hate myself sometimes. And why am I having so much fun with this? It's happy to lend a hand now that we got those pita to move. Great, let's take Aramatisse back to the square. Okay, Aramatisse, here's the pita. Help it out. Aroma. <laughs> God, they're so cute. Glad that worked. Pikachu, where'd your southern accent go? Oh. P Dub's awake. Oh, Dino. Oh, Dino. Wow, Aramatisse's scent is nice. But it's kind of like a really strong perfume. 
I don't get why the PETA like it so much. Glad you're enjoying it. Aroma. Yep, you were a huge help, Aramatisse. Thanks. Excellent work, young detective. That perked the beat of right up. I don't even consider getting help from the other Pokemon in this area. Oh, yeah. Uh, come to think of it, a police officer was calling this big guy Chief. I wonder why. How about you ask him and find out? Hmm. Yes, I'm Will Butler, Chief of the PPB. PPB? We're an organization dedicated to protecting the Pokemon of Rhyme City. The Pokemon Protection Bureau. So it's kind of like the police, but focus on Pokemon. I didn't know we had something like that. The Bureau only recently started its official operations. And at the moment, we're borrowing off the space at the Rhyme City Police Station and cooperating with the police. We were dispatched to provide security, but, well, just look at what happened. I can't believe a fiasco this big occurred on my watch. It's honestly an embarrassment. We were formed two years ago as a response to the infamous R incident, the case you two, went, uh, you two solved. Back then, Pokemon-related disturbances were happening all over the city. The human and Pokemon residents of Rhyme City were deeply affected by that. Mayor Myers was so shaken by the, uh, what occurred, he took it upon himself to create the PPB as a countermeasure. He wanted to make sure crimes involving Pokemon like the R incident would never happen again. That's why this organization exists. Isn't keeping the peace the police's job, though? In the past few years, Rhyme City has seen a considering number... Wait a minute. Has seen a concerning rise in the number of report, uh, reported incidents and accidents. There we go. I swear I can read at a fifth grade level. The police are struggling to handle so many incidents, including those involving Pokemon. But now... The police can protect the human can protect the human population of Rhyme City while the PPB protects the Pokemon. By dividing up the work, we can keep everyone safe. Ah, so that's why the PPB was formed. Just what I'd expect from Rhyme City. Howard really is looking out for us Pokemon, huh? Mm. By the way, young detective, I was watching your investigation earlier and couldn't help but notice. Were you explaining things to Pikachu? Huh? I don't think Pikachu understands what you're telling him, though. Unless you, uh, unless the two of you can... Huh? I'm not actually talking to him. It's more like getting advice. No, nah, that's not it. It's... Oh, I get it. You talk to Pikachu to organize your thoughts. Interesting way to form your deductions, if you ask me. Ha <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Well, we do understand each other, actually. Yeah, that was close. I thought he caught on to us. Be careful. Usually folks wouldn't believe we could talk to one another. Well, I mean, I can talk to you and you can talk to me. I mean, it's, you know, we can talk to each other. Just whether or not we understand each other, I think, is the issue. It's back again. Come on, let's chase it down. And then do what? You gonna hit it? Oh, it's Corviknight again. Hey, give me back my hat, would ya? The chief went after Corviknight in his patrol car. I bet Corviknight still has my hat. Let's follow it. I don't know why. Oh. Look at my, my, uh, my voice for Pikachu's going. Those are Pokemon cries. Sounds like they're coming from the direction the Corviknight flew off in. Let's go check it out. All right, my dudes. Oh, look at the little Spearow. Aw, I want to pet it. Sorry to leave this one short, but yeah, you remember those uh, those allergies and those headaches I've been dealing with? I gotta go lie down for a little bit, wait for my aspirin to kick in. Uh, I'll have at least one more video, hopefully two more at least by the end of the night. 
uh, for you guys for this game. And then tomorrow we're going to try and get back into an actual schedule. So thank you so much for watching. As always, social media is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more next time. But until then, I'm out. Thank you.